What's most important to remember about this data and evaluating the new program is that it has to be continuous. So my guess is what happens with our ELL students um, that continue on after their anticipated graduation date is that they fall through the cracks because we're moving on to that next group of students. And so it's really important to um, make sure that we have systems in place to monitor to them and provide them the support that they need to be successful and um, get that diploma. So implications for the district um, are pretty obvious, but very positive and powerful. You'd have higher graduation rates, higher standardized test scores, and you'd also be able to strengthen the school community and our community as a whole. And um, at a time when our kids are feeling um, you know, our kids in Pasadena are feeling very nervous and very confused about these kind of next steps um, in their lives and becoming an adult. Um, you know, it's that that diploma is going to go so far for them. And so strengthening each individual child is going to strengthen our entire school as a whole. And then that's going to um, carry on out into our um, Pasadena community. So um, obviously all of these things are very good and worthwhile goals. And um, hopefully the continuous school improvement plan um, will be a purposeful project.